Hi again, this is me again, your teacher Orvin for Advanced Excel. So we're just going to continue lesson number four. Uh, this is the second part. So let me share again the Excel file. OK, so if you haven't watched uh, the first video on lesson number four, please go back to that first video. So I uh, discuss how what is sum if count if uh, and average if. So we're just going to give examples of count if count sum if sum ifs and count ifs. OK, so this is our table as you can see right now. Let me just again have a recap on what we did. So you can use the f of x. OK. And you're going to have to insert the function count if here. Uh, again, just go back to the first video. As I said, I will I am faster if I'm trying to write the code or the function itself. So we said I will suggest to practice this with uh, on your own like uh, just typing. OK, the function open parenthesis and then you can see your um, arguments there. OK, so let me just repeat what we did. The range is. The column or the range of cells wherein you're going to look for the criteria and in this uh, example number of orders in Boston, your criterion is actually Boston. So where are you going to find that? It's actually on column G. So G2, which is this one, until G25, G25, OK? Uh, this is now the formula. Press Enter, and your result is 4. OK, so we will do that later on on the other uh, examples here, but let me just uh, do the last one. So this part of the videos or the lesson is just going to uh, solve the first one and the last one. OK, and then I'll have a separate videos wherein I'm going to show you all the result for all these questions. So here, how many times there are uh, are number of items less than 20? So let's go back here. So when you say number of items, this is column E. We're looking for less than 20. In the filtering, you can use that. Number of filters less than 20. Press OK, and that's the answer. It should be 9. 9 out of 24, you can see it here. So, but if you want to use count if, okay, let's go here. Let's answer this one. Equals count if. Okay. So E2 until E25. Okay, so the range is just going to change the column. I mean, in this exercise E F G so this is just going to change but two and twenty two up to until twenty five is our rows or our rows. Okay, so the criteria is gonna be uh, less than so the symbol less than and then twenty. Okay. So count if E2 to enter in thirty five less than twenty I put it in a uh, in a double quotation mark, so you have to know when you have to use this symbol. OK, so if you're looking for a text, you put a uh, double quotation mark. If you're looking for just a number, you you don't have to use this. But since I have a symbol less than, so I have to put it inside the quotation mark. So that's the, uh, the solution for that. Let me go for the sum if sum of refrigerator items. OK, now. Since we're, we already have encountered the number of items, actually, this is what we're going to add in the sum if this or this these values. So that means in the first example, sum of 
the refrigerator items. Am I correct? That, uh, yeah, refrigerator. So we're going to add the number of items for the refrigerator. So for example, here it's 15. This one is a refrigerator. He has number of items 25 here. We're going to add these values. Okay, so let's say we filter the refrigerator. Okay, so the, the sum if will be the sum of this number of items for the refrigerator. Okay, so let's do that and execute that in the sum if category. So equal sum if range will be uh, where are you going to find the criterion that you're looking for. The criterion that you're looking for is a refrigerator and we're going to find that in column D. Okay, so D2 until D25. So that's the item. D2 column D25. The criterion again is Okay. Okay. And then uh, the next um, argument is some range. Now this is the or oh, these are the values that you want to add. So looking at again our table, the number of items is what we want to add, this column. So it's going to be E2 to E25. That's what is uh, some range. It's all about E2 colon E25. So as you can see here, D2 and D25 is the column where we're going to find the, refriger the refrigerator. And then E2 and E25 are the column where the number of items or the values that we want to add since this is sum it. Press enter. So the answer is 105. Okay. So let's uh, try to answer the next sum if. The last, I mean, the last items in sum if, last question for sum if. Sum of items transported by trucks. So you can practice on this and then I'm just going to skip here. Okay, same same with this one. You you do this on your own. For this, you're gonna do this. I'm going to answer this part. Okay, some of items transported by trucks. So trucks. So here you can see that column of transport, truck four, three, one, two, airplane. Okay. So what he's asking here is some of items that is being transported by trucks. There are a lot of approach on how to do this, but let's just simplify it. Sum if, okay, you're looking for the criteria uh, truck. So it's in the transport column, which is F2 to F25. F2 to F25. Criteria is truck, but there are four trucks, truck one, two, three, four. So I'm going to do what I'm going to do is truck one. Okay. And then some range, what are we going to add? Again, the same values, number of items. So E2 to E25. So let's proceed. E2 to E25. Close parenthesis. You open the parenthesis after a function, you have to close it. Press enter. This is 118. So, but the idea here is not 118. We have to add, because this 118 is only for track one, we have to add uh, another sum if because we want all the tracks transported by tracks. So, here I highlighted it and copy it so that I'll just plus. Control V, and I'm going to change this to two. Okay, so again, plus, again, Control V or paste. I'm going to plus three, or trap three, and then plus, Control V, and then trap four. So you know that you already covered track one, two, three, and four. What it's going to do is to 
add the values for track one, add the values for track two, add the values for track three, and add the values for track four, and then add everything. And that's what this question is all about. Sum of items transported by trucks. So the answer is 511, okay? Now, I'm going to give you another solution, which, okay, so because our example, this part of the example has just some if, okay? We don't have different criteria. We're adding a lot of criteria. Track one, two, three, four. That's not some ifs, okay? We're going to do go for some ifs later on. I'm going to discuss this to you. So same, uh, you're looking at F2 to F25 because this is where you're going to find the tracks. Okay, so let me just leave this and then I'm just going to do the same for the SAM range, which is E2 to E25. Okay, the track here is going to be added by one character and that character you have already encountered in uh, in programming it's called the wildcard character the wildcard character is used in in programming wherein it can replace uh, any character okay after another word or before another word so here as you can see track what i'm going to do is just to put a uh, star sign, okay, which we call the wildcard character, okay, and when I press enter, it should be 511. That means it represents one space, one space, two space, three, as long as track is there, okay. So that ends our presentation for today, uh, for today, for this part of the video, and then I'm going to continue for another part. Okay. Watch out and see you.